Clinical photography is an important part of orthodontic full records. They serve as a reference point for both the patient and the dentist, marking the starting clinical representation for the patient. However, they play an important role in treatment planning orthodontic cases, including aligners. Clinical photographs help designers to produce high-quality treatment setups, enabling them to correctly assess the bite and midlines. For high-quality clinical photographs, you need a DSLR digital camera, preferably with a 90 or 100 mm macro lens and a ring flash, retractors, and an intraoral occlusal mirror. Eon requires eight clinical photographs, three extraoral and five intraoral. It's preferable to start with extraoral photographs as retractors used for intraoral photos may leave some noticeable marks on patients' cheeks. Let the patient stand in front of a white or blue background to get to the right exposure. Start with the frontal view, making sure the patient's eyes are looking straight into the camera with their head straight. Once done, ask the patient to smile naturally, keeping the same head position. The last extraoral shot is the profile, where you ask the patient to turn to their left and ask them to look straight ahead. Make sure their ear shows in the photo taken. Check your photos in your camera, making sure only the patient's face with some background is showing. Too far or too close photos are not recommended and may miss some important details like asymmetries or shifted midlines. When you are done with extraoral shots, set the patient back into the dental chair and use retractors available to retract the patient's cheeks. Ask the patient to bite in centric occlusion and start with the frontal shot. For this shot, position your camera parallel to the occlusal plane, making sure all teeth are showing. Once done, move to the right buckle shot, trying to retract the cheeks to show at least the mesiobuccal part of the first molars. Position your camera parallel to the occlusal plane and as far back to the right buccal area as possible. Ideally, only the left central incisor from the left side can be shown from the right buccal shot. Repeat the same for the left side. An easy way to make sure that all teeth are in focus when taking frontal and buccal shots is to keep the lateral incisor in focus at all times. The dental chair light can help in getting that focus right. The last two photographs are occlusal shots. For the upper occlusal shot, use the retractors and the mirror. Ask the patient to open as wide as possible, insert the mirror, and make sure that all incisors and at least the first molars are showing. To prevent the mirror from fogging, either warm the mirror before or ask your nurse to blow air on the mirror using a three-way air syringe. Repeat the same for lower occlusal shot. Check your photos on your camera before dismissing the patient and retake any shot you are not happy with.